Hello, my friends. This is music class through a video. I'm Mr. Vutzek, and on this one, we have first graders listening, some kindergartners, and also some TKers, right? Got something for everybody, all right? So, we're learning about music. And I was thinking about that. I was thinking, you already know a lot about music because you've been listening to music all your life since you were born. Watching movies, television shows, right? Just listening to music on the car radio, singing songs, your parents sing songs to you. So you know a lot about music. And how do you learn about music? It's through listening. Listening is so important. So keep on listening. Listening to music that you enjoy. And sing. Singing is a way of expressing. We all sing, and singing is great. And that's what I'm teaching you how to do. And we're learning music through our singing voice. Mm -hmm. So, keep on singing. That's why in the beginning I always say, hey, sing after me. If I go, hello everybody. And you have to match me, right? You wanna match the sound. Sound is pitch, that's what it's called. So when you match me, if I go, hello, and you go, hello, you're matching the pitch. Now I know I have a man's voice, and you have a child's voice, so you have to get up high in your head voice. Remember when we go like this? We go, take a big breath and go, ooh. Do that a few times and warm up your voice and go, ooh, ooh. Now, let's match some sounds, some pitches. I'm gonna match the same pitch. Let's start right here. Hear that pitch? I'm gonna match it too, right? If I say I match with my singing, my man's voice, it's this note. But I want to do the same note that you do. Here we go, my turn, and you match me afterwards. I'll take a big breath. Are you matching me up in your head voice? My eyebrows go up, I drop my jaw, I take a big breath. Let me do this one now. And you can hold it even longer if you want to. I'm gonna do another one. This one right here. Do that. Now, next we're gonna put some words there. You're gonna say, hello everybody, but on this pitch. You will first do that sound, do that O sound. Go, oh, hello everybody. Your turn. All right, let's do the same thing on this pitch. Good, now we're gonna do this one. Oh, hello everybody. Now, I don't usually sing that high. It's really high and it doesn't sound that great when I do it. So for me, here's my voice. If I go, oh, hello everybody, you go. Now, that's important that you know how to do that, okay? Hey, let's do an echo song where I sing and you sing after me. Last time we had this, I think I did this song called The Littlest Worm. And it's a first grade song, first graders love it. And all you have to do is be my echo. It goes like this. The littlest worm I ever saw was stuck inside my soda straw the littlest worm i ever saw was stuck inside my soda straw he said to me don't take a sip cause if you do you'll really flip he said to me, don't take a sip, cause if you do, you'll really flip. I took a sip, and he went down, down through my pipes. He must have drowned. I took a sip, and he went down. Down through my pipes he must have drowned And now he's gone 
and that's the end. He was my pal, he was my friend, and now he's gone, and that's the end. He was my pal, he was my friend. Boom, boom. All right. Now, the next thing that we learn in music is about the beat. And the beat is another word for a steady pulse, something that opens over and over again. Beat, beat, beat. It's one way of keeping the beat. There's so many ways of keeping the beat. You can do it on your lap. Keep it on your beat. Beat on your lap. Lap, lap, lap. We're doing this in TK too, right? Singing songs and keeping the beat. Like if I say, seesaw up and down in the sky and on the ground. We did that in kindergarten too. Now in first grade, we learned how to write the beat. Let me show you what I mean. We were keeping the beat like this. We would write the beat, little line. One, two, like this, beat, 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 beat. Four beats. Mm -hmm. So I'll say, well, how many beats do we have in Seesaw? So we keep track of it. One, two, ready, go. Seesaw up and down in the sky and on the ground. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Look, I can track it. Here I go, seesaw up and down in the sky and on the ground. That song has eight beats. All right, let me race it. Let's do another song. And before I write it, I'm going to sing Let's Make a Snowman. It might be a new song for you, but listen to it. So we'll keep the beat like this. That way you can see it. Mm -hmm. Here I go. Let's make a snowman big and round. He'll be the best snowman in town. Now, when you're in kindergarten, we learn about something called silent beats. The beats were, I am silent. So let's see if there are any, okay? Let's see if you can hear any. Ready, go. Let's make a snowman big and round. He'll be the best snowman in town. How many did you hear? Zero, one, two, three. What's your answer? Mm -hmm. You said two, you're right. I'll show you where they're at. What I'm gonna do, if I hear a silent beat, I'll put the beat on my mouth and say, on that beat, I didn't sing, I was silent. Here I go, let's make a snowman big and round. He'll be the best snowman in town. Two times. Now, in first grade, when we write the beat, we have to write a beat for every beat, even if it's a silent beat. Let me show you. I will write the beat for the first sentence, the one that goes like this. Let's make a snowman big and round. That's the first sentence. It looks like this. One, two, ready, go. Let's make a snowman big and round. That last beat, I'll cross it out just so you can see it. The last beat, that was the silent beat. Watch this. Let's make a snowman big and round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beats. And the second sentence is the same thing. Ready, go. He'll be the best snowman in town. So when you get in first grade, you'll be doing things like that. All right, next. You know what? In kindergarten now, not only are we learning about the beat, but we're learning about rhythm. And that means the way the words go. So once you know the beat, you listen to the words as they fall on the beat. For instance, if I sing a song that goes like this, Teddy Bear, you remember that one? If you remember the song, you can stand up and do the motions, right? The beginning, you want to have to turn around. You want to have to touch the ground. You have to show your shoes. And at the end, you just bow your head. Like that will do. Okay, here we go. Standing up, I'll sing the song. You do the motions. Here I go. Here's my beat. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. 
Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Here comes the second part. You have to go upstairs, say your prayers, turn off the light, and say good night. One, two, ready, go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Now let's look at the beginning. How many beats is this? Ready? Count. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Do it again. Ready? Count. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Hmm, let me see. Let me write it down. How many beats is that? Here I go. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Got four beats. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Now, let's figure out the rhythm. Okay, now, when you get in kindergarten, we said sometimes the words go long, 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 long. Okay? And sometimes the words go short, 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 short. So on the first beat, when I say Teddy, how do the words go? Do they go long or do they go short, short? Listen to it. Teddy, what's your answer? If you said short, short, you're right. Now look at the second one. Teddy bear. How about on the word bear? Was it long or was it short, short? Bear. What's your answer? Mm -hmm. It was long. So it went like this. Teddy bear, short, short, long. And it repeats. Teddy bear, short, short, long. So the way the words go, the rhythm is short, short, long, short, short, long. Let's clap that. Let's put short, short here and put the long arm lap. Ready, go. Short, short, long. Short, short, long. Do it again. Short, short, long. Short, short, long. Now, when you get into first grade, okay, kindergarten is when you get to first grade, and you learn about short, short, and long, and silent beat, you get to actually learn their names, how we do it in first grade. This is how they do it in first grade. In short, short, they call it, they go like this, and they call it toddy. And long is just like the beat, they call it ta. And so the way they read this in first grade, they'll say toddy ta, toddy ta. Let's try it together. Ready, go, toddy ta, toddy ta. And the rest goes, Turn around. Four more beats there. Turn around. There's a silent beat. And the silent beat in music, they kind of write like a little, like a Z, like that. And this is going to be ta, ta, ta. Here's the first eight beats. Kind of looks funny, but it goes like this. Ta di ta, ta di ta, 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 ta. And that's the rhythm of the first sentence of Teddy Bear, and the rhythm is the way the words go. Okay, very cool. Now, next thing that we learn in music that you have to know really well is you have to learn the difference between a high pitch and a low pitch, right? A high sound and a low sound, know the difference. And you know what song I use? This is something that we're gonna learn in kindergarten pretty soon. I use the song, Ring Around the Rosies. And you go, why? Well, because the first time it goes like this. Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. You notice that in the first part we go, we all fall down. I go down to low pitch. Now there's a second verse that the first graders know. Kindergartners, I'm gonna teach it to you pretty soon, and it goes like this. The birds are in the meadow, sitting in a rose cup. One, two, three, and we all jump up. I went up high. I ended with a high pitch. All right, let me sing it again. Here's the first part, which everybody knows. Ring a 
around the roses, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. So if I play that, you can tell I ended with the low sound. Here's the second part. The birds are in the meadow, sitting in a rose cup. One, two, three, and we all jump up. So if I play that ending, I'm gonna say, oh, I ended with a high sound, right? Can you tell the difference? Which one am I playing? Ending with a high pitch? Then you go like this. Or ending with a low pitch, a low sound. Here he goes, what about this one? Your answer? That's right, end with a low one. I went like this. We all fall down. Okay, how about this one? you It's the low sound again. All right, yeah. We all fall down. How about this one? Your answer? It was the high pitch. I went, we all jump up. Now, in the background here, I have my tone bells set up. These bells make a sound. And from low sound, all the way up to high sound. And let me play it one at a time. It's getting higher in pitch. I hope that's coming through and you can hear it. All right, here's the high pitch. And here's the low pitch. Now, when you get into first grade and you know the difference between high and low pitch, then you get to learn about solfege. And solfege is giving them a name. And the solfege names are right here with the hand signs. It goes like this, it starts with low sound. Do. Re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And it can, continues on. After do, it goes do, re, mi. If you can sing higher and higher. It just continues on. Now I can go the other way. I can start with the high pitch, right? And go down. Do, ti, la, so. Fa, mi, re, do, ti, la, so. It continues on and on and on. Now, some people might have heard these before. There's a song called Do A Deer that a lot of people know. Let me sing it for you. It was from the movie called The Sound of Music. And it goes like this. It's like showing you giving you some, um, let me think, I got that right here. I got some pictures for you. Kind of teaching you the scale, right? And it says, do a deer, a female deer. Uh, do, if you spell D-O-E, it means a deer, a female deer, a mother deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun, sun ray. Me, a name I call myself. Fa, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread. La, a note to follow. So, tea, a drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to do. Hi, do. And that's the song called Do a Deer. Now, in first grade, we were learning these sounds and we broke it down to our first two sounds that we learned were so and me and I did like this I said your so is high me is low it's a skip and we sang the song see saw up and down in the sky and on the ground and so Here's the hand sign for so. Even if you're in TK, you can do this. Even if you're in kindergarten, you can do this. Here's so. And the low sound is me. Be my echo. Here I go. So me, so, so me. 
You just did the beginning of seesaw up and down. Now I'm gonna do it the other way. Mi so so mi so. That's the beginning of Let's Make a Snowman. So you go like this. Let me sing it. You sing after me. Let's make a snowman. Big and round. After that, the first graders, they learn the next song. They learn the one that is higher than so, and it's a step higher. And it's called La. And this is the song that we use. It's called Snail, Snail. It went like this. It started like this. It went, snail, 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 round and round and round and round. All right? Be my echo, everybody. Snail, 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 snail. Round and round and round and round. I have to show you the hand signs for la. Here's so, here's me, and la, you just go up higher like this. This is the way I do it. So here's snail, sing after me. Snail, 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 snail. Round and round and round and round. All right, now I taught them a song that starts with la, and it goes like this. La, so, so, mi, so, la, so, so, mi. It's called Mockingbird, or Hush Little Baby. The words go like this. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. It's the beginning of the song. Here we go. Let's start with la. I will sing it, you sing after me. La, so, so, mi, so. La, so, so, mi. Here's with words, sing after me. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. All right, now, we had another song for the first graders. Remember the one called Step Back Baby? And you went, la, la, so, mi, so, la. And you sang, step back, baby, step back. That's your part. Can you sing that again? Step back, baby, step back. That's your part, right? I'm gonna sing my part. I go, not last night, but the night before. Step back, baby, step back. 24 robbers at my door. Open up the door and let him in. Hit him on the head with the rolling pin. That part that you sang. Step, the part that goes, step back, baby, step back. That's what you sang. All right, well, it's almost time to go, so let's do our goodbye song. It's the one I usually teach in kindergarten, and most kids like that, right? So it goes like this, I'll sing. See ya later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. See ya later. Mashed potato, see ya soon, macaroon. Say goodbye, pumpkin pie, to the loo, kangaroo. Catch you later, operator, adios. Cinnamon toast. See you later. Goodbye, everybody. I will.
will see you next time, everybody.